Right, Prime Minister Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim said the Madani government is actively managing the two main aspects of the country's fiscal management, namely reducing debt and the fiscal deficit, which is increasingly showing positive development. He also refuted the claim that the country's fiscal policy and budget seem restrictive and do not reflect the government's promises. In a video posted on the X platform on Thursday, he also refuted claims that the monetary, fiscal and budget policies have not been successful in achieving the government's promise of debt and fiscal deficit reduction. Sekali lagi, hiruk pikuk beberapa minggu yang lalu ini mengenai hutang negara. Seolah-olah kita tidak beri kenyataan yang benar dan telah memungkiri janji kita untuk menurunkan hutang. Saya lihat dalam media sosial kita diserang tetapi fakta tidak benar. Saya telah jelaskan bahawa ada hutang yang kita warisi yang mencecah lebih 1 trilion malah 1.5 trilion dan memang komitmen kita untuk mengurangkan hutang dan ini kita lakukan. Anwar stated that some of the claims were unfounded and irresponsible political swipes. On Monday, the Prime Minister said the government targets to reduce annual borrowing to 86 billion ringgit this year from 93 billion ringgit in 2023 and 100 billion ringgit in 2022. Umpamanya, tahun 2021-2022, kita berhutang dari luar dan dalam 100 bilion ringgit. 2022, 100 bilion ringgit. Dan balik 2023, kita beritahu keadaan tidak boleh kita pertahankan dengan hutang yang berlonggok dan bertambah. Maka kita turunkan, maknanya kurangkan hutang ke 93 bilion ringgit dari 100 bilion yang sebelumnya. Atau tahun sebelumnya, tahun 2024, 86 bilion ringgit. Kuranglah maknanya dari 100, dari 93 ke 86. Anwar explained that at the same time, the government could not simply eliminate all debts as this would affect, among others, projects meant to help the people as well as obligations to repay all debts. He said the national fiscal deficit has been lowered to 5% of GDP in 2023 from 5.6% in 2022 and this year it is projected to be reduced to 4.3%.